All right, we're live. Checkpoint number nine. Looking better than ever. Problem is two. Here we go. Do I have any letters in common or do I have any numbers in common? And just a quick glance, I see two letters and already I'm getting a headache. But you know what I'm gonna do? It's factoring. So I'm gonna use the same process I've been doing for the last few problems this whole section. I'm gonna use my AC chart. And I'm gonna ask myself, what two numbers multiply to equal this product? A times C and and add to the middle term. Now, because I've got two numbers that multiply to a positive and add to a negative, that means they must both be negative. They must both be negative. So, think of the numbers that multiply to six. One and six, two and three. Not a whole lot of writing there, but you know what? They both have to be negative in order for this to add to a negative and multiply to a positive. What am I gonna do with these two beauties? Well, guess what? We're gonna use that to rewrite this B term. How am I gonna do that? Same way I've been doing it. I'm gonna use the negative one XY and then the negative six XY because that's still mathematically negative seven XY. What's my next step? Pause anytime you need to. Factor by grouping. Factor by grouping. Normally I'd write factor by grouping right here but since we're on video time, we gotta load this up. What do they have in common? Just this case, an X. So guess what comes outside? An X. What's left over? 2X and a 1Y. And again, you don't have to waste your ink writing that one, but I've got plenty of ink. What do I factor out of this? And remember, we said if this is negative, I really need to factor out a negative. So 3 and a Y. Negative 3 and a Y. What's left over? That goes in there twice. Y is canceled, we've got an X left over, looking good so far. Negative goes into a positive, negative. And the only thing left over is a Y. And again, whether you write the one or not, it's up to you. Last step, what do I do? I take that common factor. That's part of my answer. You've got the car in the driveway, oh my goodness, get your books, get your bag out of the truck, and then get it in. What's left? X minus three Y. And that is your final answer. And as always, pay attention to class.